Tonight, the Delta variant continues to spread in the U.S., especially in parts of the country that have low vaccination rates. One of those states is Missouri, which is experiencing a disturbing surge in cases. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at the human toll this is taking. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Devin. So according to the CDC, more than 99% of the COVID deaths were in people who were unvaccinated. Let me say that more clearly again. More than 99% of the recent deaths were in people who were unvaccinated. That means most of those deaths likely could have been prevented. That is a very painful reality that their loved ones are left to face. And tonight, one of those families from a hard-hit Missouri is sharing their story. 45-year-old Trisha Jones lived a mile from her mother, Deborah Carmichael. The two visited often. I still find myself, you know, wanting to text her, and then I'm like, what am I doing? Trisha was extremely close to her children as well. They loved drives in the rain, surprise trips to a store or restaurant, and attending church together. Any opportunity she got to hang out with her kids and do something with them, um, she was all about that. She never stopped fighting for her kids. But when her mom felt sick from side effects after her first COVID-19 vaccine, Trisha decided to skip hers and hope for the best. She was also thinking, yes, you know, I might get it, but I'll take my chances because you can recover. We were just like, Mom, please just go and get it. Her family says after contracting the Delta variant of COVID-19, Trisha died June 9th. I was actually one who felt her last actual breath. One without the ventilator. And it hurt. They hope no one else has to go through this, encouraging others to get the vaccine, and if not, wear a mask and social distance, no matter how inconvenient. I, I miss the everyday. I miss the everyday ordinary stuff that you do with people when you're just there in your life. Now, Trisha lived in Jackson County, Missouri, where only 36.94% of people are fully vaccinated. But for some perspective, right now in the city of Detroit, only 31.5% of residents are fully vaccinated. That compares to 58.2% in the rest of Wayne County. That is a very concerning number, especially with the more contagious Delta variant, now the dominant variant in the United States. That graphic you just showed really puts it into perspective, Frank. What, what do you want to tell people who are still on the fence, still reluctant to get vaccinated? Well, you know, Kim, we are seeing clearly now how effective this vaccine is, as well as how safe it is. If we allow the Delta variant to race through Detroit and other pockets of Michigan with lower vaccination numbers, we will see more deaths, and those deaths will be preventable. We didn't have anything to prevent this before. We do now, yeah. the vaccines. So go out and get your vaccine. Yeah. Okay. Back to you. Dr. McGeorge, thanks.